Paul Stevenson. During his lengthy stay in Bristol, England, he was an outspoken supporter of African Caribbean civil rights and the founder of many community organization. In 1963, a kid named Stevenson spearheaded the effort to boycott Bristol Omnibus. This was a response to the company's refusal to hire persons of color for entry-level roles like driver and conductor. Following a 60-day boycott that was backed by hundreds of Bristol citizens, the company decided to remove its color bar in August. Stevenson died on November 2, 2024, at the age of 87. His late years were marked by a struggle with dementia and Parkinson's disease, according to someone close to him. Maita Sanchez She had a dual career in the Philippines, acting and politics. Sanchez came into this world on April 2, 1969, in the Philippine town of Pagsanjan, Laguna. From 1988 till 2020, he worked as an actress before entering politics. He served as mayor of Paxanjan from 2010 to 2019, was president of the League of Municipalities of the Philippines from 2010 to 2016, and was a political novice before becoming the deputy mayor of Paxanjan from 2019 to 2022. He received three distinct trophy nominations for his performance in El President, 2012. Sanchez, who had been battling uterine cancer for 55 years, died in Quezon City, Philippines, on October 3, 2024. She had six children with politician E. R. E. Gersito, to whom she was married. Dina Mariana. She performed as a singer and actor in Indonesia. Even though Dina had a massive success with the song Ingat Kamu in the late 1980s, when she was only a teenager, she is still commonly known as a former child singer. For her career, Dina has put out 35 albums and appeared in 21 films, 26 episodes of soap opera series, and three standalone soap operas. Dina has become Anjana Demira's mother-in-law since the middle of 2019. The 59-year-old artist Dina Mariana Huvelman was laid to rest at the MRCCC Salome Samangi Hospital in South Jakarta on Sunday, November 3, 2024, at 1441 Western Indonesian Time. Dina Mariana battled uterine cancer for the last two years, from 2021 till her dying. <laughs>